in a remote corner of Maryland sits 145 acres of farmland that's used as a children's camp in the summer. But come October, Kaleva Farm erupts into a dark, fiery, haunted attraction that's not for the faint of heart. My name is Nick Markoff, and we're here at Markoff's Haunted Forest, and this is, I'm, I run it with my three brothers, and this is our baby. This is our fun time of the season where we get to scare people and uh, let the creativity run wild. Well, we started 22 years ago when we were out of college, didn't know what we were gonna do with our lives, and we were gonna start an outdoor camp, and we didn't have any money, and we said, let's do a haunted forest as a fundraiser, and that's how it began. Drive about an hour outside of Washington, D.C. to traverse one of Markov's two trails that wind through their forested land. While you're waiting, we have also little side attractions to do. The haunted maze, uh, we have a haunted hayride, we have a lot of games, we have a zip line, we have a canopy tour that takes you above the whole trail through the woods, which is a really unique experience. Um, bonfires and just kind of a festive atmosphere. A lot of people come not just to go through the trail, but just for the whole experience while you're waiting by the fire and kind of sets the mood. But the parlor games won't last long. Soon, you'll be ushered into foreboding woods. With each step into darkness, you find yourself wondering what's lurking next. Turn back while you still have a chance. We are an outdoor haunted forest not your typical haunted house, and we try to play into the woods theme, and that kind of plays into our strategy. As you come upon the demonic church and inch your way through the boneyard, you'll notice that this Halloween haunt is unlike any other. I think what sets us apart is that we're not like your typical haunted, I guess, professionals. We kind of just happened into it, and we kind of didn't fit the mold. We take junk and we create something out of it. And so you just have something unique and different when you come to Markov's Haunted Forest, not something you would probably see if you went to a, a, a different one. We have a CNC machine. We have um, you know, a full fiberglass shop. This is where pretty much 100% of the props are made for the whole forest. Uh, everything from styrofoam to wood stuff to LED lights to uh, the different fabrics we use. All those pale, blood-caked, ghoulish faces oh, that lurk around every twist and turn, those are all made up on site, too. We have uh, 10 makeup artists, uh, and some of them work in the woods as well, but typically they get here early and get everyone prepped. Uh, we have, when both trails are, are, are running, we have about 82 in the woods. Um, and then we probably have about 160 overall. So it's quite a big operation. A big operation with big scares. But don't expect gore as you wander through the dark, wooded trails of Markov's haunted forest. Yeah, our strategy for scaring is is dark. It's not so much like blood and guts and gore. We kind of stay away from that, probably because we work with a lot of kids in the summer and their families come through. But also, I think we kind of go after the primal fear, just, you know, creepy and eerie and subtle. That's our strategy. What could be frightening about wandering through the woods in complete darkness with strange creatures waiting to torment you at every turn? It was awesome. Um, definitely it being outside adds a whole nother level of creepy. Um, and in the woods. And, and in the hill. woods, yeah. <laughs> and the actors, they really get into it. Like, they'll just dig down in the mud yes. and stuff, and then out of nowhere, they just pump up, and they're just like, ah! And once you enter, there's no telling how you may react. <laughs> Craziest reaction was probably my first year, I made someone fall, then they got up and I scared them again, and then they peed their pants, and then they fell again. It was awesome. I did get kicked in the groin a couple times, too. We have uh, quite a few actors that come in, and a lot that come year after year. It's just a fun job, kind of part-time thing. Um, they're not really doing it for the money. I mean, we pay them, 
but it's just fun to be out here. I'm being paid to do exactly what I want. I did as a kid. I would always run around the house in masks and scare my parents. So this is this is like the dream job. It's not like any other job. I like that you can just kind of do what you want. And I like how it never gets boring and it never gets old. With all the different scares at Markov's, you can guarantee that there's something or someone waiting in the forest that will get your heart pounding. But what terrifies visitors the most? For me, it's chainsaws just because I have problems with chainsaws. There's so yeah. many of them. Me personally, I don't like clowns. So when you go through the clown ones, it's like, you know, you're facing your fear. <laughs> but beware, there are some in the forest who never make it out alive. The burger we use comes from the cows that are over there in the field. The pulled pork that we do, same place. It's all fed here. All our kitchen scraps go to the pigs and help them get big and fat for us. Farm fresh meat, you say? This is the best way to spend October, either with your friends or with your family or on a date. I, c I can't think of a better you know, activity to go out to because it's different, it's seasonal, and it just puts you right in the spirit of Halloween.